Hello and welcome back to the Immortal News family. In today's heartfelt video, we bring you the latest updates on the passing of some truly remarkable individuals within the last 24 hours. Additionally, in today's headline section, we have a sad update regarding Justin Timberlake. As part of the Immortal News family, we are committed to honoring and remembering those who have made a lasting impact in our lives and the world. If this video touches your heart, or if the stories of these extraordinary people have moved you, please show your respect and remembrance by giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you. Number 9. Jesse Baird, a beloved Australian television presenter and respected Australian rules football goal umpire, tragically passed away at the age of 26. His life was cut short under circumstances that have deeply shocked and saddened the community. Baird's dual careers in television and sports allowed him to touch the lives of many, from the excitement of live sports to the informative and entertaining world of television programming. In his television career he's shown as a presenter for Network 10 engaging audiences on programs like Totally Wild and Gamify. His dynamic presence also graced the red carpet as a reporter for Studio 10 until its cancellation in December 2023. His versatility and charisma made him a familiar face in Australian homes, bringing both joy and insight into the world of entertainment and pop culture. Parallel to his television achievements, he excelled in the world of Australian rules football, beginning his umpiring career in 2011. His dedication and skill saw him officiating at grand finals in the Northern Football Netball League and the NEAFL, culminating in his progression to the Australian Football League list in 2020. Baird's contribution to the sport was recognized with the prestigious Brian Pratt Medallion for the most promising AFL umpire in both 2020 and 2021, marking him as a rising star in the umpiring community. The news of Baird's disappearance and the subsequent discovery have left both the sports and television industries in mourning. Tributes have poured in, highlighting his warm personality, professionalism, and the significant void his passing leaves behind. As investigations continue, the focus remains on celebrating Baird's life and the lasting impact he made on Australian television and sports. Jesse Baird's legacy will be remembered for his contributions to bringing sports and entertainment into the homes and hearts of Australians. His enthusiasm, dedication and talent enriched the Australian cultural landscape, leaving a memorable mark on both fields. Tributes to Jesse Baird. Number 8. Pamela Salem, an esteemed British film and television actress passed away at the age of 80, in Surfside, Florida. Her illustrious career spanned several decades, during which she captivated audiences with her versatility and talent. Born in Bombay, India, Salem's passion for acting led her to the Central School of Speech and Drama in London, setting the stage for a remarkable journey in the performing art. Salem is perhaps best remembered for her role as the malevolent witch Bellore in the ITV children's series, Into the Labyrinth, a performance that showcased her ability to bring complex villains to life. Her portrayal of Joanne Francis in EastEnders further solidified her status as a versatile actress capable of navigating the nuances of both good and evil characters. Salem's contributions to the Doctor Who universe, particularly as Professor Rachel Jensen and the voice of Zoanon, left a lasting impact on the show's legacy and its fans. Beyond television, she graced the big screen with memorable performances, including her role as Miss Moneypenny in the unofficial James Bond film Never Say Never Again. Her work in films like The First Great Train Robbery and Gods and Monsters exemplified her range and dedication to her craft. Her legacy extends beyond her filmography, remembered by peers and fans for her professionalism, warmth, and enduring contributions to the entertainment industry. Her performances enriched the tapestry of British television and film, leaving a legacy that will continue to inspire future generations. Colleagues and admirers have shared heartfelt tributes, reflecting on her kindness, talent, and the unfading mark she left on the world of entertainment. Her passing is a profound loss to the artistic community, but her work will forever remain a testament to her extraordinary talent and passion for storytelling. Tributes to Pamela Salem
Number 7. Claude Montana, the visionary French fashion designer known for his revolutionary designs and influence in the world of haute couture, passed away at the age of 76. His pioneering work, especially in the use of leather and his iconic silhouette with broad shoulders, marked a defining era in fashion history, leaving a lasting legacy that reshaped the industry. Born in Paris to a diverse cultural background, he began his illustrious career with humble beginnings, crafting papier-mâché jewelry before moving on to master the art of leatherwork. His first fashion show in 1976 catapulted him into the limelight, leading to his dominance in the fashion scene throughout the 1980s and beyond. His designs, characterized by exaggerated shoulder pads and a bold use of color, embodied the extravagance and spirit of the era, making him a darling of the high fashion world. His contributions were not limited to his own label. His tenure at the House of Lanvin, where he designed haute couture collections from 1990 to 1992, was met with critical acclaim and earned him two consecutive Golden Thimble Awards, despite the financial challenges his bold visions brought to the house. Beyond the runway, his influence extended into menswear and affordable fashion lines, demonstrating his versatility and commitment to bringing his aesthetic to a broader audience. His personal life, marked by his marriage to model Wallace Franken and his openness about his personal life, painted a picture of a man who lived as boldly as he designed. His work was not just about creating clothes. It was about crafting a narrative of strength, confidence, and daring innovation. As tributes pour in, the fashion world remembers him not only for his designs but for his fearless approach to fashion and life. His legacy is celebrated in the pages of Claude Montana, Fashion Radical ensuring that his contributions to fashion will continue to inspire generations to come. Tributes to Claude Montana. Number 6. Stuart Organ a distinguished British actor renowned for his dynamic roles in television, theater, and voice work, passed away at the age of 72 earlier this week. The cause of his passing was not specified. Organ's career was marked by his versatility and depth in acting, leaving a lasting legacy in the entertainment industry, best known for his portrayal of Mr. Robson in the beloved children's television drama Grange Hill. He became an iconic figure as the series' longest-serving teacher, embodying the role from 1988 until 2003. His character's journey from the new head of PE to finally becoming the headmaster was a memorable arc that resonated with audiences. Prior to this, Organ's talent shone through in various roles, including his performance in Brookside and as Bazin in the Doctor Who story Dragonfire. His contributions to television were paralleled by his accomplishments in the theater, he took on significant roles in productions such as An Englishman Abroad, The Comedy of Errors, and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, showcasing his adaptability and command over his craft. His voice work, particularly his announcements for the London Underground, made his voice a familiar presence in the lives of many. Tributes to Stuart Organ have highlighted his profound impact on the acting community and audiences alike. His dedication to his art and ability to bring characters to life with authenticity and passion made him a beloved figure in both the theatrical and television worlds. His legacy will be remembered for his contribution to enriching the cultural landscape, leaving behind a body of work that continues to inspire and entertain. As we reflect on his career and the joy he brought to many, we remember Stuart Organ not just for the roles he played, but for the warmth and depth he brought to each performance. His talent and spirit will be dearly missed, Tributes to Stuart Organ. Number 5. Shin Zedong Tiger, a revered South Korean music producer and songwriter, tragically passed away at the age of 40. Known for his groundbreaking contributions to the K-pop industry, his loss is deeply felt across the global music community. Born Lee Ho Yang on June 3, 1983 in Gwangyang, South Korea, he embarked on his musical journey with a passion that saw him overcoming early rejections and financial challenges to become one of the most influential figures in K-pop. Rising to prominence after debuting at a young age, his innovative approach to music production and songwriting earned him numerous accolades, 
including being named the new generation producer at the 18th Korean Culture Entertainment Awards. His ability to craft hits that resonated with a wide audience led to his recognition as a pivotal figure in the music industry by Oh Sen in 2011. Beyond his individual successes, he was the visionary behind the girl group Exid, showcasing his talent not only in music production but also in artist development. His legacy is marked by his fearless pursuit of new sounds and his dedication to nurturing talent. His work with artists like Beast and Momoland, and the creation of hits like Ba Boom Boom, are testaments to his exceptional skill and creativity. His influence extended beyond production, as he actively contributed to shaping the K-pop landscape through his own label, AB Entertainment, and the formation of groups like Tribe. Tributes have poured in from fans and fellow artists alike, celebrating his remarkable career and mourning the loss of a true pioneer. His approach to music, characterized by an eclectic mix of inspiration and a commitment to pushing the boundaries of pop music, will continue to inspire future generations. His sudden departure leaves a void in the music world, but his impact will endure through the artists he nurtured and the music he created. His vision and contributions to the K-pop industry have left a memorable impact, ensuring his legacy will be celebrated for years to come. Tributes to Shin Sedong Tiger Number 4. Irene Camber, the esteemed Italian fencer and Olympic champion, passed away at the age of 98. Her legacy in the world of fencing is unparalleled. Having achieved remarkable success including a gold medal in the individual foil competition at the 1952 Summer Olympics in Helsinki, Born in Trieste, Italy on 12 February 1926, her entry into fencing was serendipitous, a twist of fate that led her to mistakenly enter a fencing hall instead of her gymnastics class. This fortunate mistake ignited a passion for fencing that would define her life. Over her career, Camber represented Italy in four Olympic Games, showcasing her exceptional talent and determination. Her victory over two-time Olympic champion Ilona Elek in Helsinki is still remembered as one of the most thrilling matches in Olympic fencing history. Beyond her Olympic success, she also made her mark at the World Fencing Championships, securing titles and medals that further cemented her status as a fencing legend. Her dedication to the sport extended beyond her competitive years, as she took on the role of national team coach, leading her pupil Antonella Ragno to Olympic gold. Her contributions to fencing were not limited to her achievements on the piste. She balanced her sporting career with a professional one, working at the Montedison Chemical Corporation. Her life story is a testament to her versatility, resilience, and pioneering spirit. As tributes pour in, the fencing community and sports fans around the world remember Irene Camber not just for her medals and titles, but for her enduring influence on the sport of fencing. Her legacy will continue to inspire future generations of athletes to pursue their passions with courage and dedication. Tributes to Irene Camber Number 3. Tina Rainford, the cherished German singer from Berlin, passed away at the age of 77. Her voice and her music resonated with fans across the globe, marking her as a memorable figure in the music industry. Her journey in music, highlighted by her collaboration with Drafi Deutscher and her significant hits like Silverbird and Fly Away Pretty Flamingo, showcased her talent and versatility. Starting her career in 1963 under the pseudonym Peggy Peters, her musical talents were soon recognized thanks in part to Drafi Deutscher, who wrote and produced her early hits. After assuming her real name in 1967, she recorded several duets with her then-husband Pete, but it was her solo work that would define her legacy. Her most notable success, Silverbird, released in 1976, became an international sensation, touching hearts in multiple languages. This song, along with Fly Away Pretty Flamingo, written and produced by Drafi Deutscher, cemented her status as a beloved artist in both the country and pop music scenes. Her impact on music was profound, blending genres and crossing borders with her songs. Her collaboration with Deutscher, particularly their duet Alaska in 1972, highlighted a creative partnership that brought out the best in her as an artist. Even in her later years, she remained connected to her passion for music, recording an LP with Annalena in 2016. 
Her dedication to her craft and her ability to connect with audiences remained unwavering until the end. Fans and fellow artists have paid tribute to Tina Rainford, remembering her not just for her musical achievements, but for the joy and inspiration she brought to many. Her legacy in the music industry will endure, a testament to her talent, resilience, and the timeless appeal of her songs. Tributes to Tina Rainford. Number 2. John Savident, who passed away at the age of 86, leaves behind a legacy that touched many hearts across Britain and beyond. Best known for his charismatic portrayal of Fred Elliott in the beloved soap opera Coronation Street, Savident's larger-than-life character, with his unique delivery and catchphrases, became a staple of British television from 1994 to 2006. His journey from the dramatic escape from German-occupied Guernsey to becoming a household name is a testament to his resilience and talent. Before his iconic role in Coronation Street, Savadan had a diverse career, showcasing his versatile acting skills in various roles, including the original Monsieur Fermin in The Phantom of the Opera at Her Majesty's Theatre in London. His performances in Blake's Seven, Danger Man, The Saint, and Doctor Who highlighted his ability to captivate audiences across different genres. Despite his success on stage and screen, it was his role as the lovable butcher Fred Elliott that endeared him to millions making I Say I Say a catchphrase known in homes throughout the UK. Savident's decision to leave Coronation Street in 2006 to spend more time with his family in Hertfordshire showcased his dedication to his loved ones, a value that resonated with many of his fans. His later work, including readings on the BBC's online advent calendar and roles in pantomime, continued to demonstrate his commitment to entertaining and engaging with audiences of all ages. Tributes to John Savident have poured in, celebrating his contribution to British entertainment and his ability to bring joy and laughter to so many. His passing marks the end of an era, but his legacy as a cherished actor and a beloved figure will live on. Tributes to John Savident. Today's top headlines. News 1. President Joe Biden met with Yulia Navalnaya and her daughter Dasha, mourning the loss of Alexei Navalny, the Russian opposition leader. This significant meeting, following Navalny's passing in a Russian prison, signals strong U.S. condemnation of the circumstances surrounding his demise. Biden announced impending major sanctions against those responsible highlighting the U.S.'s commitment to fighting for democracy and human rights. The sanctions aim to hold accountable those complicit in Navalny's passing, echoing the global call for justice and freedom. News 2. In a shocking incident aboard an Alaska Airlines flight bound for Las Vegas, a passenger was accused of attacking another traveler with a makeshift weapon. The accused, identified as Julio Alvarez Lopez, was charged with assault following the altercation on January 24th. Authorities reported that Lopez, who appeared agitated throughout the flight, crafted a weapon from pens and rubber bands and attempted to injure a fellow passenger. The swift response of the flight crew and passengers prevented further harm, leading to Lopez's arrest upon landing. The incident has raised concerns about air travel safety and the importance of vigilance among passengers and crew alike. News 3. The trial of rust armorer Hannah Gutierrez, charged with involuntary manslaughter in the passing of cinematographer Helena Hutchins, began with intense opening statements. Prosecutors argue Gutierrez neglected vital safety protocols, while the defense claims a chaotic set environment made her a scapegoat. The heart of the trial hinges on how live ammunition ended up on set, a question that has sparked widespread debate about safety in film production. As both sides present their cases, the trial is expected to shed light on critical safety measures and responsibilities in the industry. News 4. In an unprecedented space endeavor, the Odysseus lunar lander is set to make history by aiming for the first private moon landing near the South Pole this Thursday. Built by intuitive machines and launched atop a SpaceX Falcon 9, 
This mission could mark the first American lunar touchdown since Apollo 17 in 1972. Part of NASA's commercial lunar payload services, Odysseus's successful landing would herald a new era in lunar exploration, showcasing the synergy between public ambitions and private innovation. The event will be broadcast live, capturing a pivotal moment in space exploration history. News 5. In a shocking development, University of Georgia police have identified a person of interest in the tragic passing of 22-year-old Lock and Hope Riley, a nursing student from Augusta University, found dead on UGA's campus. The investigation is ongoing as authorities comb through a wooded area for clues. Riley, remembered for her academic achievements, was discovered near a campus lake after failing to return from a jog. The Athens and Augusta University communities are left in mourning, with classes temporarily halted. Police hint at foul play, urging public vigilance while emphasizing no immediate danger. This incident marks the second tragedy for UGA in less than 24 hours, compounding the campus's grief. News 6. Justin Timberlake revealed the cancellation of his much-anticipated London show at the Roundhouse due to a sudden illness. Fans were eager to witness the star's return to the stage, promoting his new album, Everything I Thought I Was. Despite his efforts to push through, Timberlake shared on social media that his condition worsened, forcing him to prioritize his health. While he won't grace the London stage, Timberlake assures a summer tour with UK stops, promising an unforgettable comeback. The artist also hinted at an exciting project, a documentary that might delve into his career and personal life, stirring anticipation among fans and the music industry alike. News 7. America's oldest resident, Edie Seccarelli, passed away at the remarkable age of 116, just weeks after her beloved hometown of Willits, California, celebrated her life with a grand birthday party. Known for her zest for life and love of dance, Ceccarelli was not just a cherished community member, but a living bridge to the past, having witnessed over a century of history since her birth in 1908. The entire town, from officials to everyday residents, annually came together to honor Ceccarelli's extraordinary journey through life, marking her birthdays with parades and dance-filled gatherings. Her story, embodying resilience and joy through an incredible 116 years, leaves behind a legacy of how to embrace life fully, no matter the age. Edie Saccarelli's passing is a poignant reminder of the rich tapestry of experiences she lived through, from the era of the Model T to the digital age, forever marking the heart of Willits and the nation. Number one, Steve Paxton, an innovative American experimental dancer and choreographer, passed away at the age of 85. His groundbreaking work in the realm of dance reshaped the landscape of modern choreography, leaving a lasting legacy on the art form. His pioneering spirit was evident from his early days, merging his gymnastics background with the avant-garde dance scene of New York in the 1960s and 1970s. As a founding member of the Judson Dance Theater and the experimental group Grand Union, his creative genius flourished, leading to the birth of contact improvisation in 1972. Contact improvisation, a dance form that emphasizes the physical dialogue between dancers through the principles of momentum, gravity, and inertia, exemplifies his belief in the accessibility of dance. He championed the idea that movement should be a democratic form of expression, open to all regardless of formal training. This philosophy extended into his teaching and choreography, making dance more inclusive and reflective of everyday life. His approach to movement and the body was revolutionary. He saw the potential for dance to emerge from the simplest of movements, transforming pedestrian actions into profound artistic statements. His works, such as Satisfying Lover and Yagvil Garna Telefonera, challenge conventional notions of performance, inviting audiences to engage with dance in new and unexpected ways. Throughout his career, he received numerous accolades for his contributions to dance, including the prestigious Golden Lion for Lifetime Achievement in Dance at the Venice Biennale and multiple Bessie Awards. His legacy is not just in the movements he created, but in the sense of possibility he instilled in dancers and choreographers worldwide. The dance community mourns the loss of Steve Paxton, 
a true pioneer whose innovations have forever changed the way we think about and engage with dance. Tributes from colleagues and admirers have poured in, reflecting on his profound impact in the void his passing leaves in the world of dance. Tributes to Steve Paxton.